Hello everyone. Welcome to Redline Diecast Calls, your source for Mattel Redline era vintage toys. Uh, today's quick little video is going to show um, hey, a little collection that came in, oh golly, months ago. I just haven't had a chance to unpile the pack of, of boxes and toys that I have to show you the Super Chromes. Super Chromes that uh, came out in 19 whoops 1977 you recognize some of these as um the uh the chrome um issue versus the uh, like as an example the formula 5000 here came in a a white enamel finish but the super chromes all kind of cool really really spanky clean nice uh nice looking stuff i'm gonna put these all together here you can see them all at once, you, know, you recognize the large charge as um, it came in green, of course, but it also came in the Super Chrome series. Those nice tampos on there. Isn't that nice? Yep, all made in Hong Kong. Mm hmm. Nice red lines. This thing is super heavy, too. Very heavy, very heavy casting. Look at those Super Chromes up there. Aren't those nice? Super Chromes. Rockbuster. Tough to find this one with, with uh, clean tampos, isn't it? They get worn off real easily, especially the sides. Or those uh, those lightning bolts. Hmm. Yeah, the Super Chromes all came uh, with uh, straight-through axles, as you can see. Those aren't caps. They're certainly not bearings. And uh, those are straight-through axles. But there's a little Rockbuster action for you. I'm going to put all these Super Chromes up together so you can see them all at once. Aren't those neat? And then here's a twin mill. Nice, clean, crisp tampo on this guy. Eh, a couple little wear points, but not too bad. It's a nice little twin right there, isn't it? Nice little super chrome twin. Put him on that big piece right there. And then the, the last super chrome that I had here was a, a Corvette Stingray. Um, the Stingray... Uh, you know, it's a coveted car, but they made, made the Super Chromes such a, a couple different variations of this. This happens to be the yellow, blue, and white. There's a couple other variations out there, different colors. Red lines. Yep, I'm always looking for red lines, gang. So if you have one for sale, you have a, a collection for sale, I am your man. Yep, I love collecting red lines. I collect them, I sell them, I trade them. I uh, conduct live auctions on Facebook, and um, you're always welcome to join in on the party. Um, you know, something like this. I don't get super chromes that often, and when I do, I always like to show them off. They're a lot of fun to collect and to have in a, a bunch. When I sell super chromes, I'll probably sell them um, in a, a choice lot because uh, you know someone's looking for a s specific uh, casting. But these just shine so beautifully under the LED lights, <clears throat> and they're a lot of fun to uh, to show next to um, the other red lines that came around the same area, uh, same era. So um, those are super chromes, and then also it came in this collection. A couple neat little things here. Um, you've seen this, the L Ray, the L Ray, nice tampo on that. Also a flying colors era. Yeah, 1974, 75, somewhere around there. Very nice open wheel. Nice clean tampos on there. Mm, those are sweet. It's a nice car. Let's make some room. Let's do it. Let's make some room for uh, for these guys. I'll put him up there. And then I have, a, I have a mate for that. I'll put these over here. By the way... You can always contact me at diecastcalls at gmail.com. <clears throat> that's, um, that's my Gmail account. And I love getting emails and texts from, uh, from my customers looking to sell, looking to trade, looking to buy uh, red lines. That's what I specialize in. So I mentioned that this has a partner, and it does. It has the pack. Yeah, what do they call this one? Pack, formula pack? Yeah. Look at these two. Isn't that neat? Two Redline era 
open wheels. A little bit of wear on that one. Look at the, the tampo there with the dog on the right, or whatever that is. Formula pack. Nice, huh? Those are nice. Not too shabby. Along with the collection, couple of Wisconsin toy, a little close to my heart, I'm from Wisconsin. And uh, what happened is that um, the Swing and Wing, and I have a Warpath that uh, came in the collection. These are plastic bases, and they were made in 1980, but Wisconsin Toy was able to um, work out a uh, agreement, evidently, with uh, Mattel Toy Company to, um, to offer these cars, to offer the cars... Um, and that was your last opportunity to get an authentic red line along with that was a warpath, of course, I mentioned. There's a Wisconsin toy right there, plastic base. Just like the uh, swing and wing. That's a nice little tampo car, isn't it? That's cool. Nice, nice crisp stars all the way around. That's a nice little couple of nice little Wisconsin toys right there. Wisconsin Toy Company, back in the day. Look at that. Those are nice. All right. And then um, unusual thing that came in the collection was a, um, a yellow whipped creamer. This was a 1970 Paul Tam design. It's a U.S. You can tell by the clear glass or plastic and then the dark interior. Now, if you have a white interior or a tan interior, on your whipped cream, or those are um, those hold a little bit more value than the black interior, which is a more common. Here's a nice little, this nice grill in the front there, nice and clean. Nice caps on those wheels. Ooh, yellow, yellow whipped creamer. The turbine spin when it came down the track it created an air, an air duct so that uh, the air would uh, would make this uh, the turbine spin. That's cool. Oh, and then what came along with that was a uh, was a button. So when you have the blister pack, when you first got it, the uh, the toys Mattel they put a put a button, some metal, some plastic, um, some Hong Kong, some U.S. Of course, this is a a U.S. version with a Hong Kong um, button. And then uh, the last one for this short video that came in was a beach bomb in aqua yeah a couple of reproduction boards a couple of repo boards there and then uh i think oh wait those look like those are original hang on let's take a look let's take a look together on this don't go away. <laughs> oh, they're very flexible. Hmm. Get that back in the light here. Those are very flexible boards. I'll do some research on that. They actually look like they're like they're originals. Huh. I'll do some research on that to determine to determine the uh, validity because I never I'll always disclose uh, the authenticity of the red line if anything has been reproduced or um you know a i like selling cars that are complete so i really when i if i sell a beach bomb which i will be this will be going to auction but when i sell a beach bomb i really want to put the boards on there and i do have some reproduction boards that i would include if i don't have if the toy doesn't doesn't come with them but uh this is a nice little bomb aqua Beach bomb. There it is. So there's the little collection that came, and I wanted to show you real quick. In fact, let's put this, get this out of the way here. And you can look at those with me. Here is the collection. This is what came, and uh, I collect. I get collections. Oh, probably. Uh, once every two weeks or so, try to 
try to keep a nice a nice variety available for my customers who are always looking to acquire nice red lines for their collections and I'd like to be there for them. Uh, here you go. There's the tail of the tape. I'll swing back a little bit so you can see everything. There you go. Yep, super chromes in the back. Twin Mill, Corvette Stingray, Rockbuster, Formula 5000, a, um, what the heck do they call this? This is the, uh, American Victory, but that's not, it's something else. I forget what that is. Of course, the large charge, and then the Formula Pack, and the El Rey Special, Swing and Wing. Where did that, uh, oh, here. <laughs> I'm like, where'd the Warpath go? The Warpath, so two Wisconsin toy. Two Wisconsin toys here. The Swing and Wing and the Warpath. The Whipped Creamer in yellow with a um, Hong Kong button. Here's the, the, the Formula Pack and then the Beach Bomb. The Beach Bomb in Aqua. If you ever uh, want to contact me, it's uh, diecastcalls at gmail.com. Um, I'm fun to work with. Uh, very transparent in my transactions. I have very happy customers and I'm always looking for red lines. So give me a shout. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.